Welcome back to the brand new next episode of Show Learn English with Jose, and it is me back. And um, uh, you know it is Thursday, so means you have witnessed the both two matches of the semifinals, and we also have chosen out the two teams. Uh, we'll be going at, we'll we'll be going to the finals on Sunday. This Sunday. So, um, do you watch the match before uh, yesterday morning and this morning? You watched it. You know the result. Uh, you may see the uh, post on my Facebook. Um, uh, this morning, you if if you follow my account, my page. Uh, you see that uh, I I am rooting for England, and um, I didn't know uh that uh this match they got quite unlucky uh results. So um, I know that England is a very very sporty team. They play with teammates. Um, they had a very strong sport spirit. You know about that. They play together. Uh, by the togetherness, uh, they bring uh, their national team, the country, to the uh, semifinals and. Not um, to be lucky tonight yet, because um, when the match between uh, England and Croatia this morning, uh, at first five minutes you can see that I I'm speaking without scripts. You can see I'm speaking without scripts, and um, at the first five minutes, uh. I remember that was uh let me remember uh, who was he scored in uh, let me check it again. You know one thing I will have to tell you that sorry about that this morning uh you know yesterday I was too excited for the match, uh, I didn't sleep at the uh, afternoon, I stay awake for the whole day, I gotta say the whole day because uh, yesterday night I don't sleep too, I don't sleep either, and um, so that's the reason why um, I'm speaking with uh, too many pauses, and I cannot even remember something. Oh, Trippier, yes, uh, that's the man who scored for England. Um, he scored a very successful goal uh, at the beginning of the match. Then, um, uh, also, a congratulations uh, to uh, Croatia, Ivan Perisic. I hope I uh, hope that I'm spelling that correctly. Ivan Perisic, um, Mario Manduzic, uh, Mandus kick. Um, first they had a score, uh, a, a, a draw after nine uh, at, at ninety minutes. They scored. They 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 had a draw one and one. Then. They play extra time, and at the uh, first half of the ET extra time, still one and one. Then at the uh, a 
ng minute number minute a uh, hundred and and ninth hundred and ninth ten nine um mario manduzic that's the man for croatia he he scored and uh, he led up the uh score for that team is two and um they will be now at the uh finals of the world cup but um i know that i am a big fan of the england team they haven't they haven't um been this far from uh 28 years for 28 years this is the first time after 28 years since uh 1980 uh 1990 okay calculator uh we still have tomorrow we still have mon uh friday's lesson you know that i'm i'm talking like i'm drunk but i'm not because i'm sleeping yes i i <laughs> i'm losing a lot of sleep right now um not only talking about today's match but yesterday's match it was between uh france and belgium a lot of people uh, had a bet, they call a bet for fun, but um, they bet on uh, Belgium, Belgium will be the winner, but uh, turns out um, France scored a goal, and Samuel Umtiti, Umtiti or Titi, uh, maybe that's correct, Samuel uh, scored a goal for France at the minute number nine, uh, 51. And um, that was the score, and that led them to the uh, final. Will be competing with uh, Croatia at 10 p.m. at our time uh, so th this Sunday. This Sunday, and folks, I know that uh, there are some on the news and some of the news that's saying um, uh, France is not playing good. They play. The, 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 like the dirty game, I, I I heard something like that. But um, uh, I I I read a little bit. Um, and also I watched uh Mbappe, Kylian Mbappe. Um, he did it great at that match. But um, like um, just making the time uh longer. They didn't want. Belgium to score a goal, so he does some fouls, and um, it is still spreading uh, on the news right now. Uh, but uh, one thing I am feeling a little uh, not too good right now because I have had a lot of hope on the team England but um it is okay because uh every people every uh part of the team uh have done so well um you cannot blame them uh they are a team they have they they play for a country you know how brave they are and you have to appreciate their uh spirit for playing um had let them their country go to this far um but don't be sad because there will be a match between uh france i uh, know uh belgium will be competing with england uh on this saturday at 9 p.m at our time so uh we'll be fine we'll, we will find out uh which team will be uh standing at the third place uh for the bronze bronze medal or bronze cup no bronze medal maybe um oh maybe uh the next week on monday this uh red boots award uh i'll be announcing for the best commentator for this season of world cup tune in to see me announce who is the winner so um that's it for the uh, comments about the World Cup part. We'll be right back with the next part of the show, and I'm going to do the lesson right on the screen. Tune in.